everybody, welcome back to another gaming video, gaming video from Gaming with Sasuke, and today in this video we'll be playing some Clash Royale. I'm sorry I haven't been posting videos, it's been a while, I understand that. You know, I'm just busy and all with school, you know, school's pretty busy. <laughs> so yeah, but today in this video we'll be playing some Clash Royale. As you guys can see, we are in the Royal uh, Frozen Peak Arena, which is Arena 8 and it's 2300 and above. And you know, sometimes it gets annoying up here because all these legendary cards and... I only have this guy right here. I don't use him because this deck seems pretty well. Like I can show you one replay of me winning, which is very far down. <laughs> Let me see, I think I shared a good one here. Let me see, there was a pretty good one that I shared just so I could save it. Not that one, this one. It's down here somewhere, down here somewhere over here. Yes, this one. This one is a fairly good one, so I'll just fork it. So this guy is using a Dark Prince Hog deck with some minions and Valkyrie. And this is just like, my deck is pretty much a Hog Cycle deck with the Goblin Barrel. And in double time it gets really crazy. In double Elixir time, it'll get really crazy. Because I'll have two Goblin Huts out at the same time and it will just destroy bases or battlefields. So we're just going to double elixir time right here and he places a hog with a minion horde which is pretty much the strategy that he's trying to do and I rush his left tower hard because I realized that he wasn't going to attack me there because you know he's focusing on the right lane. So then I place my lava hound and I have three three uh, goblin huts out and then I place my minion bear uh, my goblin barrel because I realized that he doesn't have his zap available. So he places Zap, not really doing much, and then I have three Goblin Huts again. He places his Valkyrie, so then I'm just going to place my Baby Dragon because I need it for a push anyways. And he's probably going to do his Minion Horde, of course his Minion Horde. And then I'll Zap that and it will be a one shot for my Baby Dragon. He places the, the Goblin Barrel in the middle of all those goblins but it doesn't do anything and I get the star no not yet I don't get the second crown yet I place my my no I actually go to his tower this one or I zap it yeah I think I zap it but see this deck gets so crazy in double elixir time especially if my opponent does not have any arrows or any like super splash damage troops that are cheap like the wall bomber or the wizard the wizard isn't that cheap but yeah, or the furnace, or the fire spirits. But today in this video, we'll be trying to get this single last crown. To open the crown chest with this strategy, so you guys can see it out. And I'll do it live, so let's go. Let's hope we win. At least one crown chest, I mean one crown, to open the crown chest to see what we'll get. Hopefully we'll get a legendary card. Oh no, he's crying, don't cry. Be happy, man. So we'll just start off with not our baby dragon, our goblin hat. Oh, he placed a giant skeleton. So we'll just wait now. Just gonna kind of cycle this out. So I can place my baby dragon. Then I can place some spear goblins. Hopefully he goes, yes, he goes. Okay, we got him down. No. Fine, I'll just try. Oh no. Eh. He's gonna deal so much damage now. Oh my god, you had to place that, didn't you? Okay, so, so far he's doing a lot of damage right now to our towers. We'll just have to wait, see what this push can do with these goblins that are going in front of our knight, which is not smart. They should have stayed behind him. They should have pushed him, helped the team, but they decided not to. Okay, so he's going to place a witch. We're going to get that tower down for sure. Yes, we're going to get it down. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, we have to get rid of his baby dragon because the baby dragon is annoying. And then the witch is just another annoying story too. Okay, so he's going to place a mini P.E.K.K.A. So we should get the mini P.E.K.K.A. down. Come on, yes. Get the mini P.E.K.K.A. down. Okay, because we don't want to deal with that. Especially since he has a witch there. The witch is going to just destroy me. Okay, so we got rid of his witch. We got a tower down. So far, so good. We're just going to save up for a goblin hut. Hopefully we can do it because we need to rush his left tower now in case he'll get a tower, just in case. 
and we're gonna have to defend it because that tower is weaker anyways yeah so we're gonna have to defend it anyways so we'll just place that spear goblins right there just distract his um, troops maybe he's gonna play something yeah he's gonna place a witch okay so we're in double elixir time now so far so good we'll just save up we can lightning or zap that we can place our knight we can wait for the bomb to go off hopefully yeah okay yeah he's gonna get this tower yeah okay now we're gonna place our second goblin hut okay so we're gonna try and lure this guy over here come on yes thank you thank you my good man you saved me there even though you're not on my side you know i have to thank you you're so amazing the way you just ran there trying to save your butt but you know you didn't do much other than saving my butt <laughs> okay so hopefully we can get this tower down before he gets to mine and we can just sap that oh yeah we're not even going to destroy his goblin his a uh, giant skeleton sorry so we got the tower down we got two two crowns so let me show you something guys so you see we only needed one so it's going to overload and when we open this crown chest so we'll just see what we got Gold, gems, archers, ice spirit. Yeah, we've got a lot of ice spirits. Three musketeers and a giant skeleton. Okay, so that's pretty good. And since we don't have it available, it'll be one next time, next crown chest that we get. It'll be one extra from this battle. And they added this new troop in the game. I don't have it, so I can't show you. But it's a legendary it is called Infernal Dragon. So it's pretty much just an infernal tower that moves. It doesn't have as much health as the baby dragon. And it doesn't deal as much damage as the infernal tower. So it's just a pretty much mini sized infernal tower that moves and can take down buildings incredibly fast. He goes crazy. Like his damage is crazy. And then they're also adding this new troop, which is the Ice Golem. He has two elixir, he has a lot of health, he doesn't deal damage damage at all. And he's pretty much a tank that doesn't do anything. He's pretty much the weaker version of the golem. With two elixir, that's pretty good actually. I can see a lot of players actually doing a cycle deck like this. Although he's slow, so that might be something that they change. Or something that no one's going to use him probably. But that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more content. You know, I'll be trying to post as much as I can. I'll just try and get a video out here and there. Hopefully I can. See you guys all later. Bye, guys. I'm a Phoenix. I'm the ashes. You guys be a Phoenix. You guys are the ashes. See you guys later. Bye.